Oh, uh, well, hello to you. Um, Hey, video time. Here we are. Welcome back. Hey, uh, we've been doing a lot of work around fractions, adding fractions, multiplying fractions, dividing fractions, 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 and more fractions. Uh, we are now going to just kind of start to get into data itself. We're just going to start analyzing data, making sense of data. That's really what that means. So when we think about analyze, right, that is just a really cool scientific word of like to look at. That's really it. Look at. That should be an A. Uh, and then data, right? And data is really just stuff that has been collected, like information. Um, collected information. So we're going to look at some data today, and we're going to use it to kind of help us analyze it, look at it, and answer questions based on the data that we're looking at. And so before us, underneath all of this stuff today, we have a whole series of data. Uh, and each one of those data points is sometimes we can call them, which is a fraction or a whole number or a mixed number, or whatever the data comes in. It could be a decimal, could be whole numbers, um, mixed numbers, however else we see things. Uh, that data itself is going to be separated by a comma so we can see all the different data points. We call each one of these like a data point, something that I've collected. And what this data states, what has been collected here, what we're looking at is actually uh the uh donuts that i consume on given days so this is just like an understanding of like on certain days like how many donuts do i eat so this is my donut data donut data donut data donut data um and so when we break this down and make sense of it the whole idea is that we do need to think about like what are we looking at when we analyze this this is a whole bunch of numbers so what we're going to do first is we're going to walk through some steps. And I'm going to jump back and forth on pages on this one just so we can see. But I'm going to jump to this next blank page and really think about like what our skill set is that we need to do. And the first thing we really need to do is we do need to organize our data. So we're going to organize, organize the data. Okay. Um, and we're going to do so in this case today. We're going to organize this in this video. We're going to be looking at the concept of line plots. This is one way that we can organize data is we put them together into a line plot. So if we now break that apart, you know me, I love just breaking apart. What's the word mean? What's we doing? Uh, we see the word line. And so that's literally what a line plot is, is a line plot is really a line of data. It's like a number line of data. Okay, so number lines, and we haven't really talked deep on lines, but lines do go on forever. So that's why we put little arrows on the end, but we are going to analyze this data we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back first and look at our data. We're going to analyze it and we're going to be looking for like, what is the very first point on our number line and the very last point? So what one might even consider the minimum, minimum, minimum. Oh boy. Uh, and the maximum, like what is the lowest number we see in our data and what is the highest number we see in our data? So I'm going to pop over here and come back to our data and we're going to look and I think uh, fourth, well, that's one and one fourth. I think if we look at this data, the, 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 the smallest number, whoa, whoa, we need a pen for that. Um, the smallest number we're seeing, maybe I'll make a little fainter or the smallest value would be one half. Um, and my maximum, the largest number we see, um, let's see, it's definitely any of the mixed numbers. So one and one half, one and one fourth, uh, one and one half is the largest. So I guess one and one half is our largest. So there again, already analyzing. So if we pop back to our number line, what we just learned there is that we do know that one half is our minimum. And at our maximum, we have one and one half. Okay, cool. Uh, that's helpful. And then we might want to think about the other increments we saw in there to help fill this out. So I'm going to go back again and realize, you know, we have half, uh, we have some three fourths, we have holes. Uh, it looks like we're really just working kind of in force, right? If I kind of analyze this data again, I'm looking, oh man, I keep forgetting when you change the page, you got to turn the pen back on. Turn the pen back on. Um, so like I see here like these denominators, uh, you know, the half, but that would be two force. So there seems to be a lot of force. So I'm going to break apart and organize my line plot in that way. Turn on the pen. Um, 
So let's do that. So we have one and one half. Uh, I guess then this would be like one and one fourth. That would make sense. Uh, this would be one. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. No, I need fourths here, right? So then this would be three fourths. Oh, and one half, and then one fourth. Oh, okay. I can spread this out even better. Okay. Cool. This is what I like about that analyzing this and like kind of doing the work. Um, these are my data points, right? One, one half, three fourths. I didn't have one and three fourths, did I? No, one and one fourth. So we have three fourths. We have three fourths. We have one fourth. No, we don't have one fourth. We only have one half. Woo. Okay. Cool. See, already analyzing like crazy. That is the whole idea of this. So I actually can shift this out. I'm going to move this one up. <laughs> Remember to turn the pen on. Um, That's going to be like my new thing for this video. So actually, I'm going to move like three fourths right here. Um, And then we'll delete this one. And then I could probably then put, I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing them in different colors. I'm going to put the one here. God, I could even move that even more, right? Okay, wow, this is, okay. I love this. this. These are the things that I really enjoy because, again, this really has us being intentional about what we need to do. So I'm already realizing that I should be spacing things out a little bit better, those increments, I think you remember, so three-fourths there. And then maybe one is here, and then we can move one and three-fourths, or one and one-fourth over a little bit. To like right here, one and one fourth, and then one and a half. So actually, that gives us some good spacing. Wow. Okay, cool. So that's the first part. Like, we're really just putting like the data that we saw on this number line. Um, and we're starting again with that minimum. So remember that that's really important. Our minimum is the smallest number, min, and then the maximum is the largest number. Wow, this is great. Look, we're still organizing. We're so deep into this. Now, next, because this is a line plot, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to represent how many times this shows up, right? Because, again, we are looking at uh, Mr. Shadig's donut consumption. Fancy word for eating, right? So this is uh, my donut data. Okay. And this is how many donuts I eat on a particular day. So if we go back and look at the data, we will see here... Uh, one of our data points was half a donut. So let's look. <laughs> Remember to turn the pen on. Um, let's look at our data and analyze all the times we uh, that I ate a half a donut. So there's a half, there's a half, there's a half. So that's three times I had half a donut. So if I'm going to show that on a line plot, I'm going to come back to one half. And I'm going to show one time, two times. And three times. Boom. That's it. Then we're going to go back and we're going to look at our next data point, which was three-fourths. So like how many days did I consume or eat one or three-fourths of a donut? So that would be one time here, two times, three times, four times. Ooh, and five times. This one's down here. Five times. Oh, I just found another data point I ignored. Look at that. That needs to be on our number line. Okay, we'll fix that. So let's see, three, one, two, three, so four times for three-fourths. So I'm gonna go back to three-fourths and I'm gonna go, remember, sorry, I won't say it every time. We're gonna say one, two, three, four. Now, uh, if you notice when I was in there, I was looking at this data, I was like, oh, look, there's a two and we never put two on our number line. That actually was my maximum. So I'm gonna do a little quick adjustment. I'm not, that's not a big deal. I can fix this because this actually becomes the two. That was my max, that's a two. And then we can just put one and one half right here. So maybe my spacing isn't as cool as it was originally, but that's okay. Ooh, actually, you know what I can do? Ooh, <laughs> ooh. I don't know why I get, I'm getting so excited. Let's just extend this line out. And we can put the two right here. Ah, oh, I love all this. Because this is really the editing that you would do as a mathematician. Instead of being like, oh, I don't know, I give up. I can't do it. We just make a few adjustments. So there we go. So we're back at it. So here's our max. Okay, cool. Now, where were we? We were plotting. 
And that's what that means. Line plot. Line create a line, a number line, and plot means to put things on it, to plot. So then we're going to go back and see how many times did I eat one whole donut? So let's go back to our data and look at that. How many times did I eat one whole data donut? One whole data. So there's one time, two times, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, and eight times. So actually eight times in a given, uh, there's eight days in which I ended up eating a full donut. So we're going to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, man, we're going to have to move the word data. And eight. We'll go back and we'll put data over here. Donut data. Okay. And now let's go back and we figure out how many times did I eat one and one fourth worth of a donut. How many times am I doing that? Let's see. There's one, two, three. So three days in my donut eating, I ate, oh man, I ate one and one fourth. And then how many times did I eat one and a half donuts? Oh, right here. Oh, <laughs> I was like, isn't that? Oh, look. Uh, and that's because I squared it earlier because I thought it was our uh, max. Uh -huh. So there's only one time. And then there's only one time that I ate two whole donuts. So I'm going to go back and put one on for each one of those. Just trying to find some good color. So one, one. Okay, so that's our data. That's how we organize it. We put it on this line plot. So now we can actually make sense and read it because look, when it's in this state, it's not really easy to read, is it? It's just like a whole hot mess of things. So with this data, then comes a series of like questions that we would look at and, and analyze to see what's going on. So like, let's come back to this and we look at our line plot here and like maybe the first question might be, not even maybe, and I'll, I'll put it on the next page, but maybe the question is like, well, how many days did I eat donuts? Right? How many days did I eat donuts? So let's let's go on to another page and think about that question of well, how many days did I eat the donuts? Well, if we go back here, we can get that data real quick. Right? We're here again. It's still like a hot mess. It's all over the place. So when we then turn around and say, "Hey, let's organize this," then we can analyze it and say, "Well, how many?" data points that I collect, right? There's there's one here. Wow, what is going on? Uh-oh, 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 the one, uh-oh, it's a dancing X. I'm just gonna delete it because that was a problem. Oh, now it's like gone. Oh boy, okay. So there's one here. So we have one, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So when we think about answering that question, there was literally 20 days or 20 pieces of data that I collected. So actually for 20 days, I ate donuts to collect this. Like anything for science, right? I'll do anything for science. If you need me to eat donuts so that we can look at some data and learn some math, I am there for the math and science world. Like, give me some donuts. I'll eat a half a donut. I'll eat three-fourths of a donut. I'll eat a full donut. I'll eat one and one-fourth donuts. I'll eat one and one-half donuts. Like, whatever it takes. Anyway, so that puts us to 20. So that's one thing we can do to analyze our data. Another question might be like, well, what amount was the most frequent? Like, which one did I eat? And that's a fancy word we're going to look at, frequent. That's a word we're going to learn today. But like what donut amount did I eat the most? And we use that when we look at data, we use that word of frequent. And frequent really just means frequent. Really means how often. And so in this case, we want to look at like which, which, I guess, portion of a donut did I eat the most, Right. Yes, two donuts is the most donuts, but it literally is not the most times that I ate. In fact, I only ate two donuts once. That's a pretty small amount. It is the largest amount of donut, but that's not how many. I only ate two donuts on one day. 
And so what it means by frequency is like, which one has the most X's? What, what data point carries the most amount of X's? And that's where, when we come here to one full donut, we can see that we have eight times in which I did that. So to answer that question, what was the most frequent? It wouldn't be eight. That's how many times I did it. The data point is one donut. Right. That's that's the one I ate the most. More frequently, I had one whole donut than any other time. Um, and, you know, you could argue like three fourths is pretty close, but it's still not the most. Yeah, three fourths. You're the close, but you're not the most. What? I don't even what did that come? Where was that? OK, so that's another thing that look at. Right. And then you might ask some other questions, like, for example, like what was the most amount of donuts eaten? Well, that would be two. Uh, what is the least amount of donuts one eats? It would be one half, which can be tricky because I ate one half three times. I did so. I had one half a donut more often than I had one and one half donut. But that's still the smallest amount in the data. It's just not the smallest frequency. The smallest frequency is actually these two, right? The smallest frequency, the least amount I ever ate was one and one half or two because I only did it one time. Um, and that's really what that means. So then from here, you would continue to look at a whole series of questions. And that's what this unit is really about is like, how do we look at data? How do we collect data? And how do we put it together and analyze it and then answer questions? So that's it. This has been a long video about donuts. And I'm just going to quit there and keep that in mind. So just keep like important things at the forefront here. One, line plot. That's what you're looking at right here. This is a line plot. We use a line plot by collecting data. This is a whole bunch of data, right? A bunch of stuff we did. Dated? <laughs> dated. A bunch of data. Dated. Uh, it's a bunch of stuff we collected, right? And we take that and we organize it. So we put it together in a line plot where it's in numerical value. And then we show how many times that showed up. And then from there, once it's organized, we can truly analyze it. And so then that goes out to looking, look at certain questions and remembering some of the vocabulary like... Uh, what is the max, right? Which would be the highest value on the number line. But then also what's the frequency, which would be the number of data that showed up the most often. And that's where students get confused is because often they think the frequency would be the highest number. And if you remember in this case, our max was two donuts, but that was actually our lowest frequency. Our highest frequency was one donut because I did that eight times instead of one. Okay, I said that was it, and then I talked even more. Now that's really it. That is data. Uh, I hope that helps and gets you started. Remember, keep asking questions. Remember, keep being awesome. We love you. Keep it up. Rah, rah, hoorah, go do math.